Hi guys, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about conditional start event, right? So we understood that clearly. In this video, we'll try to understand signal start event. So what is basically signal start event? So the, all the stuffs we'll try to understand that. Okay. So as I told earlier in the video itself, signal start event is similar like a message event. Okay. So whenever we are sending some, whenever we need to trigger the message start event, we need to send some message name, right? Similar the same way when we need to start the signal start event, we need to send some signal name. That's all. Okay. So nothing different. Okay. So let's see that how really it is working. Okay. Let me create a new BP1 diagram. Okay. So let me rightly, sorry, let me signal start event and let me give you a user task as maybe let me give the signal verified okay so then they end up with the flow okay that's all guys okay so this is called signal event i'm just okay creating created the sample stuff let me save this file signal start event okay let me save this file as well same name okay so here let if you go here you can see here the global signal reference right need to create a variable call signal name okay so what not a variable it is like a signal name what is the signal name i can give uh, maybe uh, we'll give it as a user verified okay if if the user verified the signal is coming okay so the user uh, use the user task will get created then he will tell that okay i just verified that and the signal will get closed and this talk process will get closed okay it is very simple okay so whenever the signal the very user verified signal is coming into this process this process will go for a user task this user task otherwise it will not create this it will not start the process itself okay that is very simple okay again so how can i pass the signal verify how can i pass the signal name into this process okay again commander documentation helping us okay let me go to commander documentation okay so if you go and see here we should have a place called um, signal right so just open that okay so let me open that okay so here if you see here earlier the message right and let me open the message as well the similar way so that you can understand more very clear okay so this is the message document if you see here so the message document right you need to pass just a post method right the message but here just a signal okay again if you see the input parameter right so that is a like uh, signal name again here you can see that parameter message name nothing else okay so it is similar like signal only okay so similar like message only so to make it visualizationally different and based on if, if you are doing some related to signals then you can go with the signal start event okay so let me save this task okay and let's see how it is working let me go to project and let me refresh this okay so i got the signal start event let me start the process let me start the project okay so now let me go into my postman okay let me create a duplicate what is this actually the duplicate is nothing but it's say like a signal start event right signal sorry signal start event okay so that's fine signal start event send all words already saved okay that's fine signal started event. so here what is the url i need to give so just copy the url from the documentation so documentation is giving more help for us okay it will help us more so let me go and change this one to signal that's all okay then copy the sample payload okay that's it i can go to postman 
okay so let me paste this and so hope this variable is not at all required for us okay so don't worry about it okay so just give the signal name what is the signal name basically we need to give it out so do you remember what is that uh, what is uh, what is the uh, configuration we done it out user verified right okay okay let me the meanwhile let me log in our application as well before getting that okay as of now zero task okay let me hit this do not for no content let me go and refresh this see to start at the event right signal start event okay maybe if i give some wrong value now let's go and check it is created or not again already one was there see second was not created so if you are passing the value exactly whatever you configured in the signal start event if you hit that it should create a new task it, it should create a new process for you okay hope you understood right what is signal start event don't worry about much it is similar like message start event okay that's it simpler but the url as well as that uh, input body content content that is different okay that's all okay here you can just claim this and you can complete the task again this also you can do the same okay nothing to worry about it this is almost same, same everything okay so what is signal start event so when you want to start your process based on some signal name then you can go for signal start event okay that's all guys thanks for watching bye bye